Okay, so I've got this book here. So, um, Tanning's Lair. This is a Danish book. This is from when I was um, learning my carpentry. You have to learn how to draw as well, obviously. Um, but it's, well, it starts real basic and obviously it gets a bit more in depth and what have you. But, <clears throat> anyway, the part I wanted to show you is on perspectives and yeah here we go axonometry uh, I'll see if I can translate it as I uh, look at it on the fly um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, here we go this is it perspective so how you look at things in perspective it's from Latin it means to see through that's what it actually means to see correctly I'm looking at the translation here and also Google Translate if you <laughs> disbelieve, but uh, a drawing that shows the eye what it doesn't see in its real size, yeah, and it's real how we see it. So you can see there we have here um, a horizon line that's very, very level, <laughs> horizontal, obviously, and then three different perspectives. This one here shows uh, a road, shows that it gets less, it diminishes as the distance uh, hits the horizon. Uh, the point, which is called FP, or obviously here it means forsinning point, vanishing point. So this point here is the vanishing point, and here is your horizon line. Yeah? Then we have the horizon line here, it shows you that if you are um, standing up, yeah, your horizon line is at eye level. Uh, if you climb up a ladder, then your horizon line will go higher. So therefore, your horizon line is also higher. And here, if you lay down, you see your horizon line gets lower. It's always at eye height. Eye height it says here, the horizon line, Liga, Altini, Oinhoida. The horizon line is always at eye height. So now we've got this where you have different perspectives. Here we have um, three focal points. One, two and three. Uh, and well, it's just basically showing you how using uh, perspective, but we always have a horizon line because that's our um, go to, what we need to go to. We always have to go to the horizon line. As you can see, these lines here go to the horizon line fingers are well dirty <laughs> uh, and then this last one here um, same again two point perspective and uh, the uh, vertical lines are parallel obviously yes this one two point perspective where the vertical lines are uh, parallel so it's pretty simple to see how perspective works <laughs> just on these few drawings here they carry on here's a frontal perspective yeah um, also in Danish, but never mind. Okay. Uh, this one says, uh, well, it's asking you to do draw a horizontal line, HL, uh, and the box is front, and then choose a disappearing point, your FP, and then draw with a help line from A to D. This one, second, decide the depth and draw the lines. EF is uh, parallel with the horizon line and then it wants you to draw the back of the box which obviously will diminish but you can see there where it will uh, where it will come to yeah so simple That's what it says there. and then number three uh, with your help lines uh, sorry <laughs> rub your help lines out and then pull the box up with or draw it clear so anyway, it's just showing you about perspectives and everything is more or less um, disappearing to the horizon. All our help lines disappear to the horizon. We don't see these lines, but that's uh, the focal point. And then here, this last one here, if the degree, uh, in, if the angle is um, greater, then obviously you're going to get this this weird shape that looks like it's uh, 
out of well it's out of balance isn't it yeah well um this says that if the if the diagram is taken too far from the horizon line or the points fp are brought too close together the perspective will be viewed as wrong that's why the angle in the figure's uh, bottom uh, plan should be over 90 degrees okay anyway that's enough wobbling and babbling just wanted you to know a little bit about perspective and if anyone's interested in in this book <laughs> it's in danish that's what it's called okay thank you very much this is the astral thief the earth is flat